OK KO Let's Be Heroes was very close to being turned into an anime spinoff. Let me explain. If you've seen OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes on Cartoon Network, you'd realize that there are several inspirations behind its existence. Number one is obviously video games. Look literally anywhere in Lakewood Plaza, and a bunch of retro heroes are going around having a great time. Many of the moves throughout the show are heavily based on leveling up or evolving in some game kind of way. Now, the other massive inspiration for OKKO OK lies in the incredible world of anime. Japanese animation has been getting a lot more mainstream in recent years, offering stories that are undeniably really entertaining. I don't talk much about anime on this channel, even though I wish I could, but it's still what I watch more than I probably want to admit. Okay, KO makes fun of anime tropes and features this protagonist who feels like he came straight out of Shonen Jump. Yeah. You can probably understand why Let's Be Heroes is one of the best shows on Cartoon Network. But every once in a while, we're finding out some new stuff surrounding it that never ended up happening, all thanks to series creator Ian JQ. A bit of time has passed since the ending of his show, which means he can spill the beans on never-before-seen content. On Twitter, a fan asked about potential spin-offs surrounding the show, and Ian dropped an absolute bombshell of hype out of nowhere. There was only one OKKO OK anime spin-off we wanted to do. We got close on this one. Maybe I will show the story about it someday. Oh my god. God. I never knew about this until now, but I need it in my life. The poster for this OKKO OK anime shows off the Hue Troop, aka the time traveling heroes which Red Action was a member of. Move! Red Action, we've come from the future to arrest you. Freed are the charges. Two counts of time shenanigans. And betraying your friends. That's us! They do a lot of cool stuff together, which of course opens a door for a heavily action-based anime that brings the story to a whole other level. Even the poses here and the way everything is framed makes you feel like you're looking at something straight out of Japan. Notice at the top it says, A NEW LIMITED SERIES! So this probably would have been like a small batch of episodes. Still, the amount of potential here is insane, and the fact that we never ended up getting it? Now I'm sad. A lot of people on Twitter immediately fell in love with the idea of a Hue Troop anime, so Ian told everyone that he'll show off some more stuff soon. Now the worst part about this news is that the limited series didn't happen. There's a glimmer of hope that we can eventually get something like this in the future, but that's only if fans like you show their support. Part of the reason I make these videos is not only because OKKO OK deserves way more attention, seriously, watch it, but because we have the power to help bring it back in some other projects. Ian clearly had a lot of other ways to go with the franchise, but Cartoon Arc higher ups didn't think they were worth it. If the fandom shows that there's genuine support for OKKO OK and we all make that known over the next few years, I'm willing to bet that we can maybe start seeing more. Fans increase the chances, so talk about it on social media. Get some new viewers watching on HBO Max. In a world filled with revivals and returning to previous franchises, more OKKO OK isn't out of the realm of possibility. Look at this. Don't you want to live in the timeline where an official OKKO OK anime was made? Hey HBO Max, I know what you need next. It's who we are. What the heck is this? Uh, rogue per performance artist. <laughs> They're everywhere in the danger zone. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.